haven't yet subscribed, do it now. Hello guys and welcome back to the Freddy Howe Football Podcast. It's episode 12 of the podcast. A massive thank you for all of your support recently. I really do appreciate it. And now we are over 100 subscribers. So I thank you all for your support and sharing my channel on all of your stories. I really do appreciate that. But today we're going to be talking about the Europa League and my reaction to the draw and my opinions basically on if it's going to be a hard game, is it going to be an easy game? I'll let you know. But before the video starts, guys, please like, subscribe and share. And let's get straight into the video. Let's go. So the Europa League draw has been done and we are going to be playing Slavia Prague, who Sushek and Kufel, Kufel? Kufel used to play for. I think it's going to be a very tough game. Both teams obviously probably want to get as far as they can in this competition. But I think Arsenal will have the edge on Slavia Prague, just a team ability. But it'll be a close game. But if you're looking at the other side of the draw, it's very tough. Man United have got Granada. And if they go through, they can play in Roma or Ajax. So it's very, very tough. But we could be playing Villarreal or Dynamo Zagreb. And we all know what happened last night in the Dynamo Zagreb Tottenham game. I'll just let that one sink in for you Spurs fans. You lost. Ha <laughs> ha, banner, banner, banner. You lost. And at the end of the day, you lost to Dynamo Zagreb. So pretty embarrassing, isn't it, really? But I'll, I think it's funny as an Arsenal fan. If you guys are an Arsenal fan, let me know over my Instagram, which I will leave at the bottom of the description. And you also would have seen it at the start of the video. So just stay tuned from the start to the end because you'll see it on the starting screen and the end screen. So stay tuned. But they lost to Dynamo Zagreb. And Dynamo Zagreb have been drawn against Villarreal, Unai Emery's team. And if we go through, I think we will be playing Villarreal. Obviously, it's Europa League, anything can happen. But hopefully, we will be going through. It'll be a tough game. Both teams want to win. Slavia Prague, they have had an amazing run in Europa League, to be honest. They've beaten Leicester. They've also beaten Rangers. And now they're playing Arsenal. Now... Leicester, when they played them, yes, they didn't put a strong squad, but they were in form at the time. So, I don't know, it's going to be a tough game for us, but hopefully we will go through. And obviously, them lot down the road couldn't even get to the next round, could they? So, let's joke that one off, shall we? Let's stop talking about Tottenham. I think they're probably crying by now, but oh well. But, you know, we should have a chance of getting to that final. And I think... It could be a Manchester United versus Arsenal finale. And that would be incredible, wouldn't it, guys? Imagine that. Arsenal versus the Red Devils in Manchester United. And we have a good record against Manchester United recently. Mikel Arteta has a good record against Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. So maybe we might come out on top if we play them in the Europa League final. But fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Man United go out. Please, please, please go out. We don't want, we don't want them. We don't want them at all. But if we get them, then we have to play what is in front of us. And, you know, I don't want it to happen, but anything can happen in Europa League, as you could see last night. Oh, I, stop. I keep talking about it. Maybe I just stop now. Maybe I should just stop. But the Europa League draw has been made, and fingers crossed we go through. Slavia Prague have some, di have some decent players. They do have some decent players, to be honest, guys. Stanchu, I think his name is. I don't know his first name, but Stanchu and... Uh, Seema, a lot of teams have been linked with him. I think Arsenal have been linked with him as well. So Seema's quite a decent player. But fingers crossed we do go through. I think if you look at both squads, we have a better squad. But it's Arsenal at the end of the day and, you know, we could lose. So I'm not going to go out there and be like, yes, we're definitely going to win. We should get, we're definitely getting to the final. Because it's never going to happen just like that. It will take time. It's... It, We've got like five European finals now to get to where we want to be. And that will be the Europa League final. So hopefully we will go on to win the Europa League and get back into the Champions League. But anything is possible. Obviously, I did just say five European finals. I was including uh, the actual final. So forgive me if you were a bit confused there. But yes, we need to play exceptionally well if we want to get to that final in Gdansk. 
Obviously, no fans I don't think will be allowed in the ground, which is a shame because I've never been to a European Cup final, uh, neither with my dad. So, you know, it would have been pretty cool if we could go, but obviously we can't due to COVID. But obviously, I can't do anything about it. I mean, if I could, then I would, but I can't. So Slavia Prague in the next round, that will be very, very interesting. The game will be played on April 8th, yeah, April the 8th, with the next leg of that game being the week after, yeah, the week after. But if I've got that date wrong, I'm not too sure, but on what the date is actually being played of the game, but do forgive me. But at the end of the day, it will be a tough game, both teams wanting to win. And Man United have got Granada. Of course, they get the easy draw, don't they? We get Slavia Prague. Yes, it's kind of an easy draw. But I would have preferred Granada more. Just because Slavia Prague have been on a decent run in the Europa League. But I can't change that. So, fingers crossed we do get the win. Home leg first. If we win away at Slavia, I want Villarreal. I want Unai Emery. Because if we get Unai Emery, I want revenge for what he did to us when we lost 4-1 to Chelsea. And yes, all of you guys are probably laughing at me right now. And you know what? You can laugh all you want because at the end of the day, we lost 4-1, which was really embarrassing. But the best goal of the night was from us. But we lost. But, you know, that's football at the end of the day. And I don't know. That day was awful for me. But we need to go out there and try our hardest to get through into the next round and the semi-finals. And obviously get into the final. We have West Ham at the weekend, another tough game, but our focus is now mainly on the Europa League because the top four is gone, the top six is definitely gone, so we've just got to focus on getting Champions League football through the Europa League. It's like going through the back door almost, but you know, we need it so much because the transfer window is coming up and we need that pull from up, which is different from other teams. You know, if we were in the Europa League, do you reckon we'll be able to get some good players? No, not a chance. But if we're in the Champions League, we can draw the players in. They're like, OK, you're playing in Champions League football. I'm interested. Let's do some negotiations. Well, hopefully that happens. But, you know, you don't know. Obviously, we have a player that has been playing in the Champions League in recent times in Thomas Partey. And Thomas Partey, OK, yes, he has been injured for a little bit of the season, but he showed glimpses of magic. He is exceptional. And if he's only, what, 75% fit? I'd love to see what he does at 100% because that guy looks absolutely exceptional. If we can get some more signings coming through the door, maybe another defender because our defence is still a bit shaky. But if we could get a defender, maybe we, in, when we get in the Champions League next season, we will look very strong. But obviously we won't win it because... There's other teams that are in it that are better than us. But, you know, maybe we could get into the round 16 like we always do when we were in it anyway. When we lost 5-1 to Bayern Munich. But we won't talk about that either, will we? Oh, I just love... I, I just hate the mick out of my own club and I'm an Arsenal fan. Our life as an Arsenal fan. If any of you guys are Arsenal fans, you can probably understand where I'm coming from, to be honest. But, you know, hopefully, guys... You have enjoyed today's video. If you have, please give it a like, subscribe and share with all your family and friends. I've been the Freddie Health Football Podcast. Oh, and before I go, thank you for 100 subscribers. See you later, guys.